right. Stairway to heaven. Take one. That's right. Stairway to heaven. I've been requested to do an oil painting for a coworker. Um. Called Stairway to Heaven. I think this is going to be a nice, good starting video for some of you to learn how to do paintings. So the first easy step that we're going to do is uh, take our lintico. Doesn't matter what brand you use, they're all the same. People have particular types that they like and whatnot, but in all honesty, that's linseed oil. It's just linseed oil. Junction with my titanium white. Um, the bigger the brush you use, the easier it is for you to apply the paint. Um, I have a particular cork, as in I really like to use smaller brushes. But that's just me. The paint is different for each and every person. So, this is a standard 8x10. The liquid uh, will seep into the canvas. It may not look like I'm doing much now, but that's a very important part of starting a painting. Your shoreline or waterline. <coughs> or skyline, depending on how you want to put it, is where you want to start off. Like this particular sky has an underlining blue factor to it, so we will stick with the motif of using blue as our underlining sky develops. So you could technically use a blue throughout the whole thing, but since there's so many different types of blue, I would suggest you using two different flavors or two different colors. Cerulean blue hue, very typical starting off color for most people. Because it's a very even, strong blue. It's not overpowering and it's not too light. Mixing your colors properly is extremely important. Because if you don't mix them right, your colors will be dark or it won't come out to the satisfaction that you want it to. You see the brush hairs? Leave them. Don't try to pick them out. Um, all brushes are made with bristles. Bristles come out. There's no point in trying to brush it out of the, the actual painting. You just leave it alone. This is what I use to clean my brushes with. Simple turpentine, turpenoid. It has much less smell than actual turpentine. Turpenoid is just a bit stronger than actual paint cleaner. Since my seascape is darker than my, my sky, I decided to go with the ultramarine, which is a dark blue. And since my skyline is pretty much within the middle <clears throat> of the painting, uh, your seascape can 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 start there as well. So this way, you can have the contrast between sky and sea getting darker as you get closer to you it gives it a little bit more depth of color and of nature <clears throat> and the sky is the exact opposite the closer you get which is down closer to the, the horizon the lighter you get it and with the sea the darker you get it means that it's closer to you
Actually, this part right here that's on the bottom is actually going to be majority land from here on. But <clears throat> since I don't want to go into that until the next phase of my painting, I'm going to just paint it all the way through. One, it adds a layer of um, oil to the canvas so that it just seeps in. So that when I actually do come about it, um, to the to the step of adding the land to the to the oil painting, it'll go on a little bit more smooth than just adding it onto just a basic canvas. So step one is actually almost completed, and as you can see, it's fairly simple. Um, it doesn't need need to be any more detailed than this because you're just putting un your your underlining colors to the canvas. I want to take a less abrasive brush that I have. Still remaining with the small motif because that's just me. And I want to blend it. First starting with the sky coming from <clears throat> side to side so that you can see my strokes. Slowly moving upward blending in the oil paint. Then I'll come from the side and pull down. Nice and easy. You see what this does is I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I go into my water first side to side pulling out the strokes that you saw from before and then again pulling down from top to bottom making each stroke that, that I did before less visible again you don't want to add too much pressure because it'll blend it too much and you won't have the aesthetic feel that you're looking for. But as you can see, pretty quickly, I developed my sky, my sky, and I developed my, my water for my painting. Our next step, which would be to add on um, <clears throat> my land, which is down here, and my clouds. So that will be the next step that I'll, I'll include into this painting but I don't want to do that right now because I want my paint to dry. Um, one of the, the, the catches about painting with oils is that it takes a while. And that's because oil is oil. Oil doesn't dry very fast. It's not like an acrylic or a watercolor where you can continuously paint over and over and over the process. Water's a watercolor is a little more free than acrylic, but acrylic is an extremely stringent type of painting that dries really fast. I, on the other hand, don't like it because of, of that particular reason. And I know most a lot of people don't like oils because it takes too long to dry. But I was taught in the traditional way of oil painting, so I'm used to it. <clears throat> With that, step one is done. 